The New Patriotic Party has described former President Mohammed's decision to repeal the e-levy it voted into power in 2024 as a scam. Director of Communications of the party, Yao Bwabia Samwa, while addressing the press, noted the NDC cannot be trusted to move Ghanaians towards prosperity. In his 23-page paper, the NDC aspirant for flag bearer artfully skips his gargantuan force investment into establishing the interoperability platform. He only glosses over it and says that they've done a lot of work about interoperability. But he forgets to tell us that he was going to waste 1.2 billion on a system that could not deliver what is being delivered now for $4.5 million. Please look at the claim to repeal E-Levy. Just like one-time premium and the repeal of top tax, it is a scam. In any event, can your mama explain the difference in his 17.5% tax on financial transactions and his manifesto pledge to impose a uniform tax on all electronic transactions? Are these measures e-levy in disguise? And does he still stand by those measures? Because in the one instance, he implemented the MPP repealed, the 17.5% tax on financial transactions. MPP repealed it. In the other instance, it was in his 2020 manifesto that he was going to apply a uniform tax to all electronic transactions. What was that? It is clear then that in terms of deciding direction at the crossroads in 2024, the NDC cannot be trusted to move you towards prosperity. We have no policies creating new social interventions to cushion Ghanaians. Under Jomame's leadership, Ghana will slip backwards into chaotic incompetence.